Well, one of the things that I wanted to do was to start doing a project here in Kentucky, uh, partly because there's great archaeology and there's lots of good questions to ask, uh, but also because most of my stuff's been international, and uh, it, it's something I can only do in the summer and, and limited opportunities for other people to participate. Uh, so uh, because I've been doing underwater archaeology uh, elsewhere, um, I looked into the waterways here in Kentucky and found out that well, they're really fascinating. I mean, the history is fascinating, it's important, and it's really never been done. So this project that I'm starting um, will focus on the navigable waterways in Kentucky, which would include the Ohio, Kentucky, Salt, Licking, Rivers, Big Sandy, uh, some others, uh, and look at uh, n not only uh, sort of the modern era and historic era, but also prehistorically, how are people interacting with these waterways? Um, and this is really meant to be a project that involves as many people as want to uh, uh, participate, including uh, uh, people in the, uh, uh, in the general public who have, uh, in some cases, great deal of knowledge about what was going on in these places. Uh, so I've uh, created a web page called River, uh, the URL is riverarchaeology.org, and that will be sort of the place where I'm hoping people will go to help us uh, collate and accumulate all the types of data that we, uh, that we can about life along these waterways. And this might be from the steamboat era, from the flatboat era, uh, uh, have to do with Native Americans uh, uh, prehistorically, um, uh, could have to do with river-based industries, uh, making shell buttons, for instance, out of mussel shells. Um, uh, could have to do with other sorts of infrastructure, flood control, locks and dams, and, and, and that sort of thing, uh, which began really early. The first lock and dam on the Ohio was uh, uh, begun in 1829, which is uh, really quite early. And so uh, this project will involve not only uh, some field work, where I hope to go and, and look at some archaeological sites uh, and do some investigation, but also lots of library work, lots of uh, uh, collecting uh, oral history, uh, folklore, stories, uh, information from uh, a variety of sources.